Hello and welcome to this video that is part of a playlist on how to use the datalog function pack with the stwin board. Specifically, I'll be covering how to download the firmware binary to the stwin using the stm 32 q programmer software. And this of course applies to any binary, not only the one I'm using here. This function pack implements high-speed data logging application and provides a comprehensive solution to save data from several combinations of sensors and microphones, configured up to their maximum sampling rate. The data log is compatible with both versions of the STWIN kit, STEVAL, STWIN KT1 and KT1B. They are, by the way, very similar to each other. In fact, they share the same schematic and layout. The only few changes are in the bill of materials. Version B, which is the only one available from now on, includes STSAFE A110, Blue Energy M2 Bluetooth Energy Module, and the new IMP23 ABSU MEMS microphone with a frequency response up to 80 kHz, suitable for ultrasound analysis. The Radalog Function Pack is already the preloaded firmware on the STWIN version B. However, it's always good to upgrade it to the latest version available on the website. From the STWIN webpage that you can reach using the short URL st.com slash STWIN, you can go to the Tools and Software section, where you will find the link to the supported software packages. Choose FPSNS Datalog 1 and click on Get Software. Accept the license, log in with your account, and the software will be downloaded. Unzip it to a directory of your choice. You may want to choose a short path as root folder, otherwise there could be issues with some developer tools that don't support long paths. In the zip file you can find the complete source code of the project that we don't need now, because it's easier to use directly the pre-compiled binary. There are different ways and different tools to download a firmware binary to the STWIN and to an STM32 in general. We are going to explore a couple of methods, both using the STM32Q programmer software. You can download the software from the ST website. Now I'm going to assume that it's already installed on the PC. For this first method, you only need the STWIN board and one micro USB cable. Open the software and select USB. Now connect the cable to the board and the PC. While keeping the user button pressed, press the reset button once. The STM32 will execute in bootloader mode. At this point, we can click the refresh button to detect the device and connect. Click on open file to load the binary and download. After a few seconds, the procedure is completed. Disconnect and manually reset the board to let the new firmware start. The second method involves the usage of the STLink debugger that is included in the STWIN kit. The STLink v3 has been added to the STWIN package because, other than flashing a binary, it also enables debugging and other advanced features. For the moment, we are just using it to download the binary. We still need the USB cable for the STWIN just for the power supply and we need another one to connect the ST-Link to the PC. As an alternative, it's also possible to connect the ST-Win to the battery. Switch back to the ST-Link mode and hit refresh. The ST-Link parameters should already be ok, but in case they are not, you can check the ones I'm using here and connect. The procedure is now the same. You load the binary and download it to the board. Just be aware that this firmware upgrade button is not to upgrade the firmware of the target microcontroller, but to upgrade the firmware of the ST-Link debugger itself, which by the way is a good practice from time to time.